Right, Nicole. Okay. This is the biggie. Yeah. <laughs> here's the here's the strange thing, and I want to teach you this mindset rather than just physical stuff. Ninety odd percent of hunters out there, air gun hunters, will shoot ninety odd percent of their stuff from the standing position. Mm -hmm. Okay, because yeah. that's when they see it. Exactly. Generally, when they're mooching about, they see, see something it, and they think, sticks oh, up. I've got to shoot that. Yeah. Sticks are a great thing. I will now not shoot standing without them. Okay. okay, they're a great thing, but some people don't use them. What you need to know is a standing shot should be, unless you've got your sticks and you're totally confident, standing shot should be a last resort. It's because it's the least stable shot. Look how okay. far we are off that ground for yeah, a start. Yeah, yeah. How many points of contact have we got? Two. Yeah. Before we were lower, yeah. we had three. Yeah. All of our supports were bone on bone and they were short. Yeah. They're not now. And like you said, it was like a tripod. Exactly. Yeah, okay. So now we've got, we've got, I've shot off um, two legged sticks. They're yeah. nowhere near as good as a three legged stick. One point and two point is better than no point, but there's no point in having no sticks. Okay. I like so, that. <laughs> now, but we're still going to keep the principles. We're going to yeah. shorten the levers. We're going to use the muscles the least we can. Okay. Right. Rotate a little sideways on. There you are. You are already doing it. You're now, your natural position of balance is feet shoulder width apart. That's okay. where we need to be. Okay. That one, if you drew a line between your, your, your feet, you would be pointing at the target. Okay. The target we're going to address is that one with the black square. Okay. With the yellow middle. Yeah. Right. In front right. Of you. We're going to, I'm going to arm the rifle. Put that into your shoulder this time. Put that round. Yeah. Now, this is where it gets a bit freaky. That's the sporting hold. Yeah. Okay. But if you can dig that. Right in. Put that hip out, girl. If, yeah, there we are. That's it. Now lock this leg straight. So lock it straight. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Wait. Get it straight. Because if you're bending it, you're relying on your muscles to keep it from stop from keep it from going all the way down. So now we've got. <laughs> Do you know what? When she cheers up, she's going to be a great laugh. <laughs> so, feel, this feel is so a target good. position. Okay. Right. So, the weight of the rifle is going down the arm yeah. into the hip. That's a bone there. Yeah. Straight through the leg. Okay. Yeah. Braced by this leg. Okay. If you can lock your knee back, now you're braced. You, it, it's locked in. It's locked yeah. in position. Put your eye to the scope. Okay. <laughs> Push your head forward. Push your head forward a little bit. Oh. Right. Ooh. Okay. Finger on trigger. Okay. Try to relax. Oh, get that crosshair on that yellow. Oh, uh, no, not bad. That's very close. Okay, break it down. Oh, <sighs> break it down. How much harder is that? <laughs> <laughs> that was so that was like alien. Yeah, but look, you're, you're in the target position. Okay, people are going to say, Oh, you're not going to use that in the field. Yes, you are. Shooting rabbits with an air rifle, a, a, certainly a sub 12 air rifle, is a target discipline. You've got a tiny little pellet that you have to place inside a wedding ring size target. It's a target discipline. If, if leaning forward like this were the best way to do it, the target shooting boys would do it. They don't. Mm. They do this because they've got one shot with not a lot of muzzle energy behind it. Let's go again. I love you, rabbit. Let's go again. Let's go. Right. Into the shoulder. <sighs> round there. Now, you can either have that flat or what I used to do, to keep, I used to put that there. Right the way up. Oh yeah. Lock it in. See, that's that's not that's oh, locked yeah. now. That acts as a guide. Okay. That's into your hip. Okay. Mm. Now get that onto that black target there. Finger on the trigger. Nice and gentle. Now that's looking good. That is really looking. I've got to say, for, at this stage, just oh. a fraction, wasn't it? That was right oh, on the edge. Yes. That's right. Oh. Don't worry. I'm, I'd I need rather, to do it again. Third time lucky. I'd rather you missed in style than got a lucky hit. Okay, so we're, we're learning stuff here. Okay. Normally I wouldn't keep you in the stance. I'd break gonna, the stance. I'm going to change back to this. Yeah, tra change to what's more comfortable for the moment. Now, I want, to, I want to introduce another thing at this stage. Yeah. Breathing. Look through the scope. Get it somewhere near. Yeah. Now breathe in deeply and tell me what happens to the crosshair. Rises up. Yeah. So, breathe in. To bring it up, yeah. let it out to drop it down onto the target and then squeeze the trigger. Oh. Just a fraction up. Re relax attention. Your, your expectations are a tad high at this stage. <laughs> now, here's where we learn something very, very important. Okay. Nobody in the world, not you, not me, not mm. the best in the world, can hold one of these still. You can't hold yeah. it still. 
okay? If it does go completely still, it means you're dead. <laughs> all right? So all the time you're alive. Yeah. So we now know that movement will happen. Yeah. It will be a part of it. What you have to do is to get it on your side. Yeah. So it's going to be there. Okay. So you must use it. And the way you do that is to control that with your breathing. Breathing, okay. When we finish this, your shooting sequence from seeing the target to raising the rifle and squeezing off the shot will be less than five seconds. Five seconds of control. Within that, there will be stance, yeah. shooting position, yeah. well, the, 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 the way you hold the rifle, yeah. trigger technique, breathing control, and the mysteriously and hilariously named follow through. Okay. All I of that know, in five seconds. That, that five <laughs> seconds. We're going we're to devote a, a, a little module to follow through. It's so okay. important. It's the one skill that, that, that yeah. the fewest people know and, and employ, but you're going to employ it. I trust you. I, well, I don't know if that's a good idea. But... <laughs> right, one more go then. Okay. Okay. Nice and calm, breathing control now. You're in control of the movement. You're not fighting it. It's part of your technique. You've welcomed it because it's not going away. Uh, top, just... top left at 11 o'clock, that uh... was. I mean, every shot has been within a quarter of an, well, what you would say five mil of, yeah. of the target. So okay. we're going to break that down now. Yeah. Give yourself a rest, shake it out. Get Ooh. the blood flowing. I mean, I don't think this can move. I think I'm stuck here. Yeah, but... yeah that's good. <laughs> you foot. But remember, in the field, what will happen in the field is you will be going along, you'll see your rabbit, mm. and instinctively you're going to go side on, Bang. Five yeah. seconds. Five seconds is is pretty much a second too long. Watch. Just just so that mm -hmm. what I'm trying to instill now is that you only need to do all this for five seconds. Yeah. There's nothing in this world you can't do for yeah. five seconds. You're, you're capable of everything. So five seconds. There's our rabbit. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Miles of time. Miles of time. So, I like that philosophy of telling yourself like you don't almost like what are you waiting for? You don't need to. Nothing's going to change. No. The longer you stand there, it's not no. going to necessarily change the technique. It's no. not going to change the. No, it won't. The great thing about that is the the real mindset is once it starts to break down. Mm. Once you're shooting, you're like this. You're nearly on the target, and then it starts to wander. Yeah. The professional will do this. Right. He'll do that and start it again. Yeah. The temptation is, I've come all this way, I've come all this way, I've got to hang it in, I've got to hang it in. It will only that's, get worse. That's me. That's what we don't do, we get out of that. Because okay. that rabbit's been sitting in that field for half an hour. Yeah. Even if it does run away, it's far better that it runs away without a shot yes. than for you to put a misplaced shot on yes. it. Yes. So, five seconds. It's actually, by the time you finish, it'll be, it'll be four. Yeah. But say, I only need to learn five seconds worth. Mm. And okay. it's easy to learn, all right? It's good, isn't it? I'm you're, you're having fun, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> no, it is. And you're good at it as well. Which oh, is, thank you. Which is always handy. Because a lot of people have no... You know how to hold a rifle for a start. Yeah. Lots of people don't. Mm. And, you, you know, it's sort of... Yeah. I get all this. But even that, that can, that can be taught out of it. Mm. You're doing Wonderful. really well. You're doing really well. Yes, that right. was for me. <laughs> <laughs> they agree. Right.